Once upon a time, there was a poor stonecutter who lived in a small village. He spent his days chiseling away at rocks and stones, earning just enough to survive. One day, he was walking in the hills when he saw a great procession passing by. In the middle of the procession was a wealthy merchant riding in a litter, surrounded by servants and guards. As the stonecutter watched, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be as powerful and wealthy as the merchant. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself in the merchant's place, riding in a litter and surrounded by servants. He was overjoyed and thought to himself, Now I am powerful and influential. No one can stop me. But as he was riding along, he came to a place where a group of samurai were gathered. They were all wearing fine armor and carrying swords, and the stonecutter was struck by their strength and courage. Once again, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be a samurai. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself in the samurai's place, wearing fine armor and carrying a sword. He was thrilled and thought to himself, Now I am strong and brave. No one can defeat me. But as he was walking along, he felt the heat of the sun beating down on him. He looked up and saw the sun shining in the sky, and he realized that it was even more powerful than he was. Once again, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be the sun. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself in the sun's place, shining down on the earth. He was filled with pride and thought to himself, Now I am the most powerful of all. No one can ever be greater than me. But as he was shining down on the earth, he noticed something strange. A cloud had come between him and the earth, blocking his rays. He realized that the cloud was even more powerful than he was, and once again, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be a cloud. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself in the cloud's place, floating in the sky. He was filled with joy and thought to himself, Now I am free to go wherever I wish. No one can ever stop me. But as he was floating in the sky, he came to a mountain. The mountain was so tall and strong that it seemed to touch the sky itself. He realized that the mountain was even more powerful than he was, and once again, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be a mountain. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself in the mountain's place, towering high above the earth. He was filled with satisfaction and thought to himself, Now I am the strongest and most powerful of all. No one can ever be greater than me. But as he was standing there, he felt something strange happening. He realized that a stonecutter was chiseling away at his side, bit by bit. He realized that the stonecutter was even more powerful than he was, for he could shape and change the mountain itself. Once again, he felt a pang of envy and wished that he could be a stonecutter. To his surprise, his wish was granted. Suddenly, he found himself back in his own place, chiseling away at rocks and stones. But this time, he had a contented heart. He realized that true happiness comes from within, and that he did not need to be powerful or wealthy or influential to be happy. He was content with his simple life, and he knew that he would never wish for anything else again. And so the stonecutter continued to chisel away at rocks and stones, living a simple and contented life. He was happy and at peace, and he knew that he had everything he needed. No matter how much we achieve or acquire, there will always be something else to desire. The pursuit of material possessions and power can be ultimately unfulfilling and can lead to a never-ending cycle of desire and dissatisfaction. By embracing contentment and finding joy in the present moment, we can lead happier, more fulfilling lives. Thank you for watching.